Woman's Fascinating Odyssey Beyond Pain and Guilt, A New Realm Unveiled. My name is Christ, and I had a close call with death. It was in November, just a couple of months ago. I've been dealing with heart problems for about 20 years. In 2016, I had a spiritual awakening. I started talking to spirits of people who had passed away. They'd give me messages like, it's okay to comfort me. On November 3rd, which is my husband's birthday, he stayed home from work. Our 21-year-old daughter was also home. I felt okay that morning, even though my heart issues usually make me feel dizzy and sick. While I was in the shower, I suddenly couldn't breathe or talk. I leaned against the wall and felt like my spirit was leaving my body through my head. I fell and hit my head on the tile. My husband saw me on the floor and rushed to help. He had to do chest compressions to keep me alive. When I was in the spirit world, I could only see parts of what was happening. I saw myself turn purple as my husband tried to help me. My daughter stayed calm and helped her dad. Then I saw inside the ambulance where they were helping me breathe. I left my body and went to the spirit world. The first place I went was with God, or what I call Source. It was amazing. I remembered what it's like to not have a body. I felt like I was dancing in light with other spirits. I saw a big ball of light, which was Source or God. He looked like the sun or a sunset, warm and yellow. God said, you did great, I'm proud of you. I felt so much love, more than anything I've ever felt before. It's hard to describe how much love it was. In Source's presence, I felt what it was like to be so light. Other than the fact that we didn't have bodies, there were no low vibrational emotions, no shame, guilt, anger, nothing. There was only love, only joy, a beautiful feeling. I remember thinking about the weight we carry as human beings, and that's what God was congratulating me about. He said, I'm so proud of you, I'm so proud of everyone. In that moment, it was like my consciousness was looking down. I could see beams of light coming onto me, like the sun with all these rays. Each ray represented someone praying for me. I heard, Kristen, 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 with each ray, knowing I had beautiful souls and loved ones praying for me. I had a conversation with God about how all is mind, how our thoughts reflect what's inside. Working on the self is a way to transform and raise your consciousness. That's why I felt so free in spirit, without the weight of those low vibrations. From there, it was like a life review on huge screens, but it was all joyful moments. I remembered being one or two years old, handing my mom a flower. I could feel her joy and love. Then it went to my dad, my sisters and my husband, each playing different roles in my life. I could see everyone passing by, and I could feel their emotions. The joy, the love, the laughter. I saw guides who have been with us since birth, angels supporting us in this world. Family, everyone I've ever channeled was there. There was a young man I had channeled for a friend who passed away about five years ago. He was right in the front with a smirk, and we embraced. It was so joyful to see each other. All the animals I've connected with, animals from my life who have passed, were there too. I remember seeing Jesus. He looked just like how I was raised to perceive him in the Catholic religion. He put his hand on my heart, or where my heart would be, and telepathically said, I am you are, we are. It was about the connection and love we all share, and the power within us. Our brain tells us all the logical human things, but the heart, the spirit brain, is where our true connection lies. It was profound, all communicated telepathically. I had to make a decision, did I want to stay or go back? I brought my awareness back to my physical body. I now remember seeing myself clearly, but I couldn't see my husband or anything else. I thought about my love for life, for those who love me, and realized I wasn't finished yet. As soon as I made that decision, I started making new contracts for my life. I was excited about it, even though I can't remember the specifics. When I returned to my body, they had to sedate me more because I was eager to come back. When I woke up, I couldn't remember much at first. Over time, my memory slowly returned, but the first four days in the hospital are hazy. Friends would ask me questions, and I struggled to recall details. My eyes moved around as if searching for memories. Because I was trying to find words and answers, when my friend's husband asked, Kristen, what did you see? There was no hesitation. I was able to just say, I was with God. I saw loved ones. The biggest thing about this experience is that we don't feel pain. 
Go takes us right out as soon as there's panic. I guess when my heart stopped, I might have been gasping, but I was pulled right out. It was quick, like a blink. Being able to see, there's no time. I saw a few things here and then went with spirit. We're always connected to those who have passed, animals, loved ones, friends. They're all around us, as guides, angels, guardian angels, whatever you want to call them. Before my near-death experience, channeling and doing mediumship was one level, but experiencing it from the other side was profound. Everything my guides have told me about being loved and supported, everything I would channel from loved ones, animals and loved ones of others, has always been about experiencing life through love and joy. Energy never dies. We're just in this human body for a short while. When we pass, our energy moves beyond this shell we call a body. We don't die. It's all about love and connection and learning how to connect with your loved ones, to see those signs and God winks, or synchronicities. They'll give you signs, especially if you ask. For example, you could ask, can you show me a cardinal, grandma? I think the other thing is, when my parents were on their way to the hospital, and they all know what I do, I've been able to teach my mom. Here's how to connect with your guides and loved ones. Once, on the way to the hospital, someone asked for a sign that everything would be alright. They have nicknames for each other, one is called Tree, the other Apple. When they arrived at the hospital, a nurse introduced herself as Apple, the same name the person uses. A friend, whose son they saw in a near-death experience, told his mom, I saw Kristen. Later, after being in the hospital and having surgery, they messaged the friend describing the son's smile. The friend confirmed it was accurate. The son went to his mom, who was also a medium, to say he saw Kristen. It was a special moment of validation for them. After the experience they felt sore and found it hard to breathe, but they recovered. This experience was profound and brought a sense of euphoria. It showed them how loved they are and that our loved ones are always with us, even after they pass away. They believe that passing away is painless if it's our time and loved ones are swiftly taken by God. They feel we have more control than we think and encourage connecting with the spirit within us for guidance and peace. It's about trusting that everything will be okay and it can be truly amazing and magical.